very ready to take on, and uh, I can see him laughing next to me. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Yeah. Uh, no, hey, man, it's, it's the right turn. But at the end of the day, we are in the yeah. match number five of Compound. Let's kick it in. So, first things first. The last time these two teams faced on this map, it was a 10 to 5 victory. Map data up on the board, by the way. For Evolution Power. And you see, that's all things considered. You know, the map win rates, the GR win rates, the BL win rates. Very similar, actually, between these two teams. So, you know, they had to play other teams on this map as well. It wasn't just that one match uh, that we had between Vasco and Evolution Power, but I think it does stand to be considered that I, I, it's a big reason why I think Vasco did not pick this map sooner in the pool. I think that's part of why they picked Mexico and they left Compound for last because uh, they did get beaten by Evolution Power on this map. So we'll see if they've done enough preparation, enough changes to their play style, to their strategies on this map to actually get across the line against this team this time. Can they work wonders? They did lose them, like you said before, but they're willing to take it back this time. As, uh, as we're looking at Evolution Power, going for a double arm setup once again. Why is he holding it down? See where it takes us. It looks like they're going to be taking it down towards middle. Service push may be off the issues. Why is he flashing the game? He looks in the wrong way. Why is he kicking us straight in the meantime? Why is he trying to pull this one down? Cannot as well. Quick gunplay allows the players of Vasco to come in for A. Well held down by Zay. Gets it once. You can see now he pulls one down. And it's got Dior with first in the meantime. Zay got cleared out. The bomb will be picked up and will be planted. But first, he got into heaven. Uh, Vasco, do they have an idea? They're going to be looking at him. First, he's going to hit that first one. Okay, for the second, some sort of pistol. Now has a pop flash. It's going to fall back down. VNC so keen towards looking at the heaven area. Does he realize first is not there anymore? The sweet time is burning. And he's gonna have to go for the bomb plan. And first is a good idea. Where is that? The one tap is going to hit. Evolution Power will pick up that first round. Yeah, pretty nice entry there from the side of Vasco. They got in, they got into the spawn, they were able to take a lot of uh, nice trades in their favor, but eventually some of the trades that did go the way of Evolution Power just a bit better. Now first gets aggressive through pillars, gets a pick off, and just like that will be advantage to them. Also the grenade doing some damage here, and he's got some help as well. If they try to charge into him, Minnow's right there in the room, and first is still scouting this, so... Definitely a fantastic start to this round for EP. Definitely off to a fantastic start and quick headshot delivered by Action on towards YH. Who's been having a slow day. Oh, Zay flanking knows where Action is. We'll get the gun shot done. And Fefe falling out of Watchtower with the C4 is not going to cut it either. For the side of Asko and now all of a sudden Silva will somehow Pull off that 180, but at the end of the day, Zay's quick to gun down two more players. Now the rounds are going to be 2 to nothing. Yeah, a couple of rounds that were pretty spicy. You know, back and forth, we had some big push-ups this time from EP to really challenge them and get some of those pickoffs earlier on. And then we had some crazy back and forth action towards mid. And I feel like generally this is going to be pretty good for Evolution Power if they can continue doing stuff like that. It's a bit risky, but... If you're getting pickoffs and you're not allowing them to really generate any kind of team push, generally you're going to be feeling pretty good from the side of Global Risk. And that's exactly what they did. So far, Vasco, you know, the, the push and the spawn in the first round was really all they've gotten going so far. Minute 47 and Vasco, after dropping two rounds in a row, is thinking about Another double pillars that first going aggressive last round really just put the wind out of the sail there. And this time, not exactly sure what they are willing to do here. Playing with the clock, still holding on to a lot of utils, and zero information has been passed down towards evolution power. So it really makes EP to play very default, as you can see on the board here. Two one two split, quick replay. Uh, on to the player of the power here. Tap, tap. Easier said than done. Quick kills here and there. And Zay springs out, gets a kill too later on. So, round is a point towards the hand of.
Revolution Power. In the meantime, we're going to be back on live. Stream here as Zay is going to be pushing back with smokes and flashes coming his way. 50 seconds remaining. And Vasco still yet to show us which angle of attack they want to take. Yeah. Uh, it's not too... It doesn't take very long to go from mid into one of the sites. So they can't really play with the time as they will take mid. At this point in time, flash on into mid. And it looks like they want to go mid to B. Uh, with three people, maybe keep MG up in the tower. And then they have uh, Silva to push through the B room. B long here. As uh, we do have a setup in the spawn. Minnow trying to pop out at the timing. Doesn't quite get that shot down. And now first is in a lot of trouble in the servers by himself. They get the flank on him. Meanwhile, some trades back and forth here at the spawn. Say is on some kind of tear right now, but he will be sniped down by MG. Ooh. And that is going to make things better here for Vasco. Literally two seconds left. On for the get the bomb planted. Well, Ezekiel's need will take down action, but he will now have to go against two full HP players. So we'll go for the arm here. Okay, but they, MG's going to be good to snipe him out. But as you can see, the timer was ticked down all the way to two seconds. Uh, YZK did get the drop onto the player, Cur carrying the C4. So eventually, action. I think it was action to do that jiggle, wiggle all the way out of the doors and got the bomb and somehow got in there. Alive, saved the round for the team. Had YZK landed the kill, then eventually the round wouldn't have had enough time for Vasco to get the bomb planted. Two to one on the scoreboard. Yeah. Still a very nicely timed push from the side of Vasco, all things considered. Uh, can be a bit dicey if you're getting down to the wire like that. And as you mentioned, the bomb carrier getting killed can be a big issue. YZK still holding on to this arm, still holding on to this angle. And this is definitely one of the better maps to go for a double arm um, setup. And Evolution Powers is probably our our team that does it the most, right? Because of YZK. Ooh, that is true. Fire in the hole! And Vasco taking this one very Fire slow. Definitely has been coming out to a better result. Even though they weren't able to pick up the first two rounds, they were able to make it down to the wire. So it really burns the patience of Evolution Power. And uh, for now, two players are down long, and Zay gets traded out. And that's the problem because Zay is the player who's been lifting the weight here. Eight kills for him, seven kills without that one in the previous rounds. It's been so much better for Vasco. And as I say, that I know he's going to swing on, get the kill onto Silva. YH deep out of middle. Spot the player. Yes, he does. Take the headshot onto VNC and Vasco all of a sudden. That's going to be down to four on two. Oh, four man. on one now. YH is just so good at finding these timings. And MG is like, okay, hey, I need to punish this guy. But YTK has got his back. And that'll be a third round here to the side of Evolution Power. But just consider all of these kills. Like Zay trades on a long. And then there's the push out from... The Sniper and Minnow in the double pillars, they get the pick off there. And then YH is in mid. He's pushing out by himself. He's getting opportunistic kills. And the more Vasco kind of sit around and wait and try to, you know, watch for those players to come out but not win those firefights, the more they're going to suffer. So Vasco really need to either get a push going earlier or they need to be really ready for Vas or for EP to push out into them, which they have been doing a lot. Looks like this push is going to come early. Looks like this push is going to come down right down towards middle. And it looks like they're going to find a kill with YDK to stop the aggression here. And now Pepe is dead stuck by staircase. There's nowhere else for him to go as Minno is going to go down too quickly, leaving MG all alone. What can he do? First is on the chase here. MG Whoop. gets spotted. Oh no, MG. He's gonna hop faster. Otherwise, first will do it. No casualties to the side of EP as they're gonna swiftly pick up round number four. You see Vasco kind of struggling here. I we've seen great moments from Vasco on this map. They played it a bunch already at this tournament. Um it just it just reminds me of the last time though of these two teams. Butting heads on this map, though, because Evolution Power, their GR side is so strong on this map. They have a really fantastic understanding of what the timings look like. 
And they're always just ready to take advantage of it every single time. And I, I just wonder what the answer is going to be. Because right now they don't seem to have one, Vasco, that is. As a push, slow, through the pillars. Kind of led by Fefe, it looks like. If there is one person to figure this out, should be Fefe. Oh, I say that and he gets sniped. So sniped down he goes. to the face and down he goes, like I said. Minute 30 and I'm not exactly sure what Vasco wants to do here. The C4 is outside of A. And the two players down towards Polar is just going to be holding this one down in the office area. But the setup from Evolution Power seems to be very, very strong to hold on to any aggression that is coming, any of the bomb sites. Yeah. Vasco, once again, uh, not committing to the push. They don't have the bomb, um, which means that they should probably not push onto the B site here. All things considered, I mean, the setup from EP, you probably don't want to do it anyway. Um, you could wait and then have, of course, action pick up the bomb and then rotate over. But definitely still remains that Evolution Power is seemingly very ready for a push to happen through B long. As we say that, first is going to find B and C. It's a little gun down a player as well. Looking to take down first, but now out of bullets, we'll have to go for the pistol. In the process, YZK will quickly gun down two players. Actually, trying his best, we'll find the double kill to equalize it back into one on one. 30 seconds, bomb now being planted. Zay, he's gonna start moving into the corridors. And oh, he did see the tip and actually spots him out too. 1v1. 1v3. Already down to 1v1 and down to 1v0 as he finally takes up the round for Vasco. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of insane from the side of action. And it looks like somebody's got an issue on the side. Looks like maybe Fefe is. He's on the, he's on the ground trying to figure something out. Seems like some kind of... Uh, uh, Gear issue? Appliance? Yeah. Something like it's that. The official... <laughs> uh, yeah, just got heard the news. The official reason is Fefe's... Uh, Gear is uh, uh, off, so we're just gonna change the gears up. Uh, given it's his personal gears of set, uh, choice, because players can choose which mouse and keyboard they wanna go for. And the uh, FA's uh, old gear is now kind of malfunctioning, malfunctioning, but we always have extra setups ready. So we're just gonna swap that in and uh, get back into the game. Uh, technical issue, of course. Um, but quick reminder. Their round is going to be four to two as Vasco finally is looking to catch up to that of evolution power. As you can see, Fefe's uh, gear is now getting readied up and is going to be brought in by the judges to. Uh, it looks ready to go. Oh yeah, it sure does. Yeah, the tech boss is over. So <laughs> it looks so chill, man. He's like, oh, you know, it's a game five of a playoff match. Oh, I'll just sit back in my chair, relax. Um, <laughs> that would be the opposite of what I would be doing, but my death ball is right. <clears throat> yeah, a little, little, uh, little break, you know. It's fine. <laughs> and anyway, <laughs> we'll get back into map number five. Compound yeah. number five. Four two currently in favor of Evolution Power. And yeah, Zay has been putting up the big numbers. So some of those will be lost to the other as we remake the lobby. But just trust us, we were there. Or oh, were we? Oh, Was any of this real? <laughs> Neo from Is it the all Matrix? a simulation? Who knows? Oh, well, back down to zero and zero as well. Yeah, the rounds are gonna be four to two. They don't get flushed. The kills though that they put out is also gonna be recorded later in the stats database, so none of those will be lost. But now, four to two, round number seven. Early shots being fired out by Fefe, who has cleared out double pillars with teammates. And they're going to be rotating back out, down towards middle. And mid tick has been kind of working. Not sure if it's perfect, but... Ooh, why is he <laughs> going to eat a bunch from Fefe? And so now he will have to fall back and reposition himself. Yep. That can be one of the dangers of taking an aggressive angle, but he will be okay. He will stay alive. He's got an arm, and his job is to hit the one taps, and essentially that's about it. But let's take a look at the replay as, you know, this was kind of crazy. We saw it, it, it originally start off really well from the side of EP, but eventually action 
joined the fight. And <laughs> that's when uh, it became an issue for them, as you'll see it here in a moment. Very nice kick off. Another headshot for action. And the guy just not missing at times. Action just very crisp with his headshots. Real crisp, but now the setup is laid out towards middle. And here is Go Sight given. Green light on the traffic, and they're going to be sending it right down. Looks, looks like they want to split down towards A is the other choice. Not I'm sure it's A is going to gun down MG in the process. All of a sudden, White King gets to drop the game. Zay continues to put the bullets to the faces of the Vasco players, and some way, somehow, Silva will find a double kill with Fefe and Terbomse. But off on heaven, it's going to be first going down to Silva again. Now the bomb does get punted. I know at risk. Fefe quickly catches him. And what can YH do with about 13 HP in him? Well, it is a 1v1. There is a chance if the headshot comes through. Still 28 seconds. Looks like he's going to fake a rotation. Still looking out the window. Fefe trying to take the long angle here on the plant. As, oh, he took a huge headshot. Now he's going to stick to the defuse, actually. And now he pops up and gets the kill and has enough time as well to get the defuse. A massive clutch once again here for my age. I guess Heaven position was the uh, right choice to go for the headshot fights when he's down low already. And uh, he was able to capitalize on top of that, find the first kill, make it back down to one on one. And eventually. Sticking the bomb, but peeking at the right time to secure the round. That's what she wrote. And we are going to be looking at round number eight. Fire in the hole. Two rounds left onto the first half. Yeah, two rounds left. So far, 5 2 for Evolution Power. I mean, this is already a really good showing from them from the Global Risk side, having a lot of control on the side is to be expected, but also they just have been pretty fantastic at uh, just shutting the door in so many teams' faces on this map and not letting people in. I think the double arm setup really helps them. I think their, their practice really helps them. As I say this, though, first is going to be in some trouble. Minnow, the guy who has to help him, only trades one for one, and now they're in onto the servers, but why is he gay? And YH gonna get a kill apiece, giving them a really good chance to take down this round. Fefe does get one, but he's on six health, gets taken out by Zay. Once again, so a big MG against Zay, a 1v1. Zay looking for it, but getting the top angle here is MG. Oh no, the top, they can easily farm him. It looks like Evolution Power is gonna be able to make a strong footing into the round. It's gonna be six. To two with the last round remaining on the first though. Six to two. Already six rounds here. Evolution power. It's getting so close in these rounds too. Like shout out to Vasco. They're making this such a close map, but it doesn't really show when it comes to the round score, and that's really what matters at the end of the day, right? It's who can get to ten rounds first. That's how you win. Doesn't they're not gonna remember that last guy that got into the one v one and then lost, right? They're gonna remember the clutch moments. They're gonna remember that snipe from first, who just holds this angle and makes it almost impossible to enter through there. I mean, Vasco, I've tried so many times, but I can't remember outside of that last round <laughs> when they got in there successfully and it, and it felt good. Did it? I'm saying, you know, I can't remember a time where they got through and it felt good. So it's just, uh, it's just rough times for them. There is rough time. Time is going to be ticking down of the essence. We have 1 minute 20 seconds remaining. He's going to take a bunch of damage. And we'll have to reposition himself back out. Long, but YH, who traded spots with Zay, is going to gun down action to put the damage into the side of Vasco. Uh oh. That's the case. He's going to see two people crossing. That's great information. It gives a lot of time for the two members on B to just throw in smokes, throw in frags, delay the push. And they're already down a couple of members, so... Vasco certainly struggling. We do have here Zank looking for the angle. He's not going to spot Fefe already in the corner of the spawn. Gets a pretty good shot for them to make it in, especially with YZK going down. And a couple of kills going to Silva. This will make it a 2v2 situation. And now Heaven. While well, Fefe jumping 
Zod player coming in, but Mino will find the better. Ooh. The pistol from MG couldn't quite cut it. It's gonna be seven to two half. And uh, Evolution Power is going to somewhat have a very strong lead out in the first half, but at the end of the day, Vasco Esports is still putting up a good fight. Every round had to kind of come down to the wire, so you never know. The games are still very, very tight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, a big play from Vasco tonight. I, I feel like, you know, they had to play that first best of five. That one was a nail biter, even though it was a 3-0. And then now they have to come in against Evol uh, Evolution Power. They have to go all the way to five maps. They win on sub base as well to bring us to map five. It's been a long day for Vasco. And maybe finally getting onto compound now against the team that has beaten them on this map. Maybe it, they they might have just run out of steam, unfortunately, just barely at the last moment. But they're not out of it yet. It's just a rough position to come back from. Evolution Power certainly in the driver's seat right now. Certainly deciding the direction of this match is going to be Evolution Power. As now they're really deciding how this match will be played out as they're on the blacklist side to go on the attack. And uh, MG out in a long... He's going to have a, an angle if uh, any of the players from Emotion Power is going to swing widely. We'll have to wait and see. We have three players down there. Mino will pop out of Flashbang, so that does stop MG. And now he's going to get pushed oh. down. They know it's the armor, and YH will quickly gun him out, gun him out from the lobby. Let's see what's a spam through the box, too. I mean, YH is already up there like he knows that there's nobody behind the box. But I suppose, you know, checking all the boxes, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Just kind of funny to see that. Fefe here in mid waiting for the follow-up push, which you will generally, generally see. You know, push into pillars or into a room, you know, get a kill, and then you go for a push down mid. You try to play with the rotations. Fefe spawned, though. That's very unfortunate for him. He's going to have to back out of there. And now he's taking tons of damage. And he's just going to have to hole up in the corner. There's nowhere for him to go, as he's probably read that first is up in the watchtower. And if he backs away, he will just die. Flash in space. YH takes the easy kill. YZK adding the kill onto VNC, leaving Silva all alone. 1v3 for the C4. This down should be picked up. And Silva, if he comes up over the watchtower, he's spotted the barrel has been seen. And the bomb is now booking its way towards the A bomb site. Salva has to go through the smoke. Not going to work out. And let's say Evolution Power will find their round number eight. Go, go, go. Round number eight. Eight to two. And just like they shut the door in their face, they are doing it from the blacklist side as well. There's no other metaphor for that one. Of course, it's going to be spotted, but now a grenade onto Silva, the stack. It's gonna take him down. Or maybe, you know, there's a bunch of shots there too. Maybe they just shot and threw an aid and he just could barely knock it out, unfortunately, for Silva. Shot and naded. But at the end of the day, the nade will be the finisher. And uh, Silva will go down. And the rest of Evolution Power is gonna rotate back out down towards middle action. Tucked under connector here. This is gonna be hard to clear out for Evolution Power. I'm not exactly sure what they wanna do here. Oh. Say was climbing, and climbing is going to be able to power to take more kills into their pockets and add more rounds. So eight rounds already, pretty greedy. Looking for the ninth to go on the map point and the match point. VNC though won't let that happen as he will come down first from YH up in the watchtower. He's going to be able to find that kill. Yeah, I mean at the end of the day, he only gets the one very low member at first, who has been a big player, but. He loses his life to get that kill. And that's not going to be an even trade for VNC. So now Fefe and MG, they have to hold on to this by themselves. And they're only on the B side of the map. So we could even see Evolution Power just run into A and say, hey, nobody's here. <laughs> Let's just plant this one. Or will YZK check into this and maybe take a 1v1 that Fefe could win, give them a better shot of the retake. Evolution Power definitely playing with the timer, even though it's down to 4v2. They're not going to just bum rush into the bomb site. They don't want the trade kills. 
two trades or two kills per person will cut it. So they're gonna be playing this one with patience. With only 24 seconds, they're gonna be sending it down for me. So right choice. And, uh, they'll have a free bomb plant as uh, the last two players that are alive on the side of Vasco will have to rotate now. MG and Fefe put to the test here. Two v four clutch. I mean, I would say it's dual if it's any other map. But on compound, it's so much substantially harder to make a clutch happen. Uh oh. He's about to get peaked by YH. I mean, YH is low on health, so maybe he'll just wait. But, yep, he's going to wait until he goes through the door first. And now they know where Pepe is as well. They can all just follow up, and Minnow's going to take that headshot down. And now, match point, finally, we will get down to it. Evolution power. One round away from taking this best of five and bringing us to an all China finals, which is what a lot of people would have expected. But man, Vasco has made waves in this tournament. Shout out to them, even if they do go down right here. But Evolution Power say, sorry, boys, we will move on. Vasco, though, not afraid. He's going to put out some risk and play deep in double pillars, but nobody was there to help out Fefe. As always, quickly guns them down. You see a lot of uh, arms set up there in the pillars trying to get that angle. And now, I, I think they notice that there's a heavy stack in the pillar, so they can just try to go for the push. BNC going to be spotted, nearly goes down. And I mean, he might be the one lifeline. They're going mid into B, where currently nobody is. But the C4 is outside of A, and that's going to be a kill over to Minnow. Takes down the low health member of BNC. Now a big chance for them as split up are the members of Masco on this defense. That's another kill onto MG. He will eventually go down and once again Silva and Action is going to be tucked all the way in servers as the C4 is now slowing its way in towards A. YH is waiting. Open arms. Action will take a punch. Action will go down. Down the end of Silva. That's an all. With that shot goes for the pistol. Yes, he does finally get the kill, but the C4 now replanted. Zay waiting with open arms. Can Silva cut it? 1v3, first on top, will get the kill! And the evolution power will knock out Vasco Esports at number three. And uh, valiant effort from the side of Vasco. They tried to climb the ladder, but at the end of the day, two men weren't there. Three maps went there at the end of the day. It will be able to power moving up top of the ladder. Very close match, as you mentioned, all things.